Hello, Ian Carpenter here from Validate. Today we're going to be looking at our mobile UE tester product for 5G and the same mode. The best way to show you that is to start with a scenario we hear more and more from customers that need to test different mobile device types. It's Friday evening, you want to go home, you found out there was a software upgrade that's being deployed on Monday. It needs to be regression tested. You need to make sure you can still connect to the mobile network on different bands, bandwidths and modes. You're stuck alone, everyone else is gone, and you've got to do this test. You just want to run the test, see the reports, get them emailed to your boss and their boss, and then head for home and to validate. So here we have the M5 unit. It's a 19 inch rack mountable unit. So in this case, although it's on a trolley uh, for portability, it can also be mounted in a, in a standard rack. In addition, we have here the UEs. Um, these are cabled by USB cable so that we can control them remotely. And uh, in this case, the radio signals going low power over the air, uh, real close together, but um, you can also, of course, put them in, a, in an RF chamber and uh, isolate that uh, depending on the test that you're trying to do. So we're gonna look at the, the demonstration here. We have our mobile UE tester. First, you would go to configuration. You can select the bandwidth. The band, we have some presets where you can set any band up to six gigahertz. You can set the initial gain and things like that. And then when you're ready, you just hit load. That starts the application up. So we just wait for that to start up. We also have a, a Wireshark trace running just for visibility on the right here. So you can see what's happening um, inside the network, inside the emulation. It's just activating those nodes now. So we've got a, a Gino B, MME, HSS, S gateway, P gateway. And here we see the, the base station came online, setup request, setup response. Uh, we also see that in the validate logs so under analyze events, uh, it brings up a tab and uh, you can just fetch the latest events there and see that indeed the, the 4G and 5G cells are up. 4G in this case on band one and 5G in this case on and 78. It's up and ready to attach TVs. So at this point, we're, we're good to go. What we're going to do is just switch over to, we have a um, remote access here to the UE on the, on the trolley. Just log into that. Okay, so we'll, we'll just put it into airplane mode. And take it out of airplane mode just to get it to research the network. It's been, the cell was down until now. So let's just let that do its search. And um, while we're waiting on that, we'll just show a couple of UI features here. So once that UE is attached, we can do a number of things. I get a list of, of active UEs and statistics on the network. Um, you can set the RF gain up and down, either on the TX or the RX. And in this way, you can manipulate the, the test environment while that's, while that's running. So the phone device here is now attached on the network. We can do a couple of things that we could start a, a ping test. You see that's going through successfully. And we can also start an iperf test. I'm first just going to get the statistics going. Um, while we're while we're talking, that's a thing you can set on and off in case you know if you're interested in in seeing that level of information. Go back to the the next test we want to run. Do an iperf test. So we've done the basic ping test. Now we're ready to do an iperf test, and this will now connect through the over the radio to the through the core to the server on the back end. And you can see that in the background here. This is the iperf server on the server side. Um, tells you how much data was transmitted. Looks good. I can check my, my bit rate depending on how, how that's set up. This is just one cell uh, and uh, set up in this way. Um, so yeah, we can see the traffic in Wireshark. We see that. Um, now we can look at the dashboard. So if we go to dashboard and let's refresh that. Uh, we see the, the UE attached. Um, if you had more UEs attached at the same time, which you can do, uh, you'd see those listed in the in the in the chart here, um, and here's the the part you can see the the metrics as that test was running. You see the um, 
uh, you know, the, the different metrics. For example, the um, EPRE, the CGI, and other you know, DL count, T, uh, UL count, uh, bit rate, and, and other parameters. Uh, so you can see a lot of information there uh, in the graphical form. You can also go to analyze report, and that really just gives you a snapshot of that in time and a, and a pass fail if that checked out or not. Um, and you can see things like the bit rate. Um, you can see all those different counters on here, the different values. Um, you can also see you know, things like attach requests, attach um, successes, and, and everything else in the, in the system. And uh, yeah, then you basically um, could do whatever other tests you might want to do. You might want to browse on the phone or do some other uh, in, you know, internet level tests, depending on how your your network is set up on the on the back end of the of the validate UE tester machine. Um, depends on how you've got that configured, uh, but that's basically it. So, in closing, to summarize, we've we've demonstrated how validate can not only simplify the testing process but also create uh, these reports for your boss. Let me show you how you can create a report. Um, if you go to uh, the report that we looked at there, you can do a save as PDF, you can do a, a save as JSON or CSV. And once you've got those, those files downloaded, you can um, you know, view that in the associated, uh, say, Acrobat viewer, and, uh, and then just email that off to your boss. You've seen how, to, how we can attach a phone, we run the test, show the logging reports along with a sampling of the different configuration options. Uh, there's a lot more things you can go into if you want to, but it's pretty straightforward and easy for operators to you know, quickly check any, any particular software changes on your device. And plus our technical support is here to help with any more advanced tests. To learn more about Validate and our UE testing abilities, please check out our website, validate.com. Thank you. <laughs>